Hi everyone from my 4 slash 1A. So we are behind by one class because last week, Monday, you guys had a holiday. We, we had a holiday. And then Wednesday, you guys had see. Oh, Teacher Quinn, wow. What is he, guys, Teacher Quinn is here. That is, okay, looks like people are working on Saturday. So, okay, uh, back to our lesson, sorry. <laughs> uh what was i saying so we had a holiday last week on monday and then on wednesday we had cefr so we missed our classes for last week we need to make up for that because four slash one b are done with unit two and four slash six is also done with uh the class okay so they're all done with unit two now Please get your book, your books, everybody. Yeah, plural. I'm, I feel like I'm addressing one person, but also I'm talking to everyone. All right. So please get your books and open page 16, and we'll start with our vocabulary. So for this lesson, we are going to focus on adverbs. But before we continue, I would like to explain what adverbs are. So an adverb is a word or phrase that modifies or qualifies an adjective. In other words, uh, an adverb is a word that edits. To modify is to edit, E-D-I-T. So an adverb is a word or phrase that edits an adjective or verb. Just for a uh, quick review, just a quick review, an adjective is a descriptive word. For example, tall round beautiful strong big thin square those are adjectives words that describe nouns and then verbs verbs are action words talk eat sit run sleep play okay so adjectives are descriptive words verbs are action words now adverbs are words that are used to edit adjectives and verbs okay for example, oh, okay, I went ahead of myself. For example, we'll have the adjective international. So now when we want to change it into an adverb, it becomes internationally. Again, we'll have the adjective angry. And in order for us to change it into an adverb, it will become angrily. So now I want to explain the difference between regular adverbs and irregular adverbs. Regular adverbs end with ly, so regular adverbs end with ly, 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 or they end with ily. Here we have ily, um, ily, where do we have another ily? Oh yeah, ily. So regular adverbs, end with ly or ily example the adjective angry becomes angrily the adjective excited becomes excitedly another example the adjective slow becomes slowly so regular adverbs end with ly or ily irregular adverbs when it comes to irregular adverbs, we start off with our adjective, right? So these are the adjectives. Now, to change them into adverbs, you need to remember two rules. The first rule is that irregular adverbs either change 100%, change the word completely, change it completely. For example, we have the adjective good if good is modified to an adverb it becomes well okay so we change the word 100 percent. we changed it completely that is the rule for irregular adverbs you might have to change the adjective and modify it 100 percent. it's now well we cannot say goodly or goodly. We cannot say that. With irregular verbs, rule number one, you might have to change it 100%, completely change the word. So good becomes well. 
The second rule about irregular adverbs is that when you have the adverbs as adjectives, then you might not have to change it at all. Don't do anything to it. Don't change it at all. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So you see the two rules are complete opposites. One, you might have to change it, 100% change the word. Good becomes well. Second rule, you might not have to change it. You don't have to change it at all. Fast remains as fast. Hard becomes, remains as hard. Late remains as late. Early, early, okay? So irregular verbs either change completely 100% or you don't do anything to them. You don't add L-Y or I-L-Y. You cannot say fastly. You cannot say fastly. It's just fast. So one more time. Regular adverbs end with L-Y or I-L-Y. Irregular adverbs, two rules. Rule number one, you might have to change the word completely, 100% change the word. Rule number two, don't change anything at all. Leave it like that. Don't do anything to the word. All right. Now, let's start with reading the sentences. We're just going to read. So, sentence number one, hip hop became popular internationally. Sentence number two, he shouted at us angrily. Sentence number three, you need to work hard. Okay, so those are just uh, sentences we're practicing with. And now we'll move on to exercise number two. For exercise number two, I would like you to add it inside the box. Tell me, do you have to add L-Y, I-L-Y, or is it an irregular adverb? For example, we have amazing. Amazing becomes amazingly. So please edit, edit in your book, okay? Bad, bad becomes badly. Please edit in your book. Just edit in your book and add the L-Y or I-L-Y. Careful becomes carefully. Early, early does not change. So early is an irregular adverb. Fast. Fast does not change, so it is an irregular adverb. Good. Good changes 100%, so it's also an irregular adverb. So we change it from good to well. Healthy. It becomes healthily. Please add I-L-Y, okay? This one, I-L-Y. Heavy, heavily, so I-L-Y again. Honest, honestly. Lazy, lazily. Lucky, luckily. Polite, politely. Quick quickly rude rude so rude is an irregular adverb we did not change it nothing nothing was done to the adjective okay it just remains the same it started off as an adjective and we just kept it the same for it to become an adverb all right the last one seriously so how many irregular adverbs do we have Early, one. Fast, two. Well, three. That's it, right? No, and rude, four. So, regular adverbs end with L-Y or I-L-Y. Irregular adverbs either change 100%, completely change it from the adjective and create a new word good becomes well or rule number two don't do anything to the word leave it as it is don't add ily and don't add ly okay now so i hope you guys edited here so this is badly carefully early fast 
well, healthily, heavily, honestly, lazily, luckily, politely, quickly, rude, seriously. Let's move on to exercise number three. All right. For exercise number three, we have the adjectives. So we're starting off with adjectives. And now we need to conjugate the adjective and modify it to an adverb. So either you add ly, ily, or we can identify that it's an irregular adverb. Number one, my sisters were chatting happily. Please write your answer. H-A-P-P-I-L-Y. Happily. Number two, she was late. So she was walking fast. This is an irregular adverb. So the answer is fast. F-A-S-T. Number three. You mustn't talk dash in the cinema. The answer is loudly. L-O-U-D-L-Y. Loudly. You mustn't talk loudly in the cinema. L-O-U-D-L-Y. Number four. My grandma is old. She walks quite slowly. S-L-O-W-L-Y, slowly, S-L-O-W-L-Y. Number five, what did he say? He's talking very quietly, okay? Q-U-I-E-T-L-Y, please write quietly, Q-U-I-E-T-L-Y. Number six, I'm studying dash for the exam. I am studying hard. We do not have to change this. I am studying hard, H-A-R-D. So that is an irregular adverb. Number seven, he plays the piano really well. This is an irregular adverb. With good, we have to change it, 100% change it. It becomes well, W-E-L-L. -L. Number eight, Alana won the tennis match easily. E-A-S-I-L-Y, easily. One more time, E-A-S-I-L-Y, easily. So you have your answers. Number one, happily. Number two, fast. Number three, loudly. Number four, slowly. Number five, quietly. Number six, hard. Number seven, well. Number eight, easily. Please make sure you double check your answers because I will also double check your answers. Now, good news, page 17. Page 17 requires uh the listening the track the listening track so we're going to skip it we're going to skip it because all the exercises require us to listen to a track okay and then this exercise for speaking one two three four five these five exercises are they're pretty general it's about you talk about yourself for example, if we did this in the classroom, I would just ask you, um, I'll just have to say, King, King, do you like to go shopping for clothes? I'll just ask and say, Belle, Belle, what do you usually buy when you go shopping? So these five exercises, they are quite simple. I think that we can skip them because they are about you guys as individuals, okay? So let's move on to page 18 and then we are done dun, 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 dun. so on page 18 we have a reading passage it's talking about culture and traditional clothes but we are not going to read the entire thing <laughs> we're not going to read the entire thing because this is just a progressive lesson i'm giving you the answers okay so part of our discussion, we were going to have a discussion and question number one, I was going to ask, 
what four countries are part of the United Kingdom. So the United Kingdom is not one country. It's actually four countries. And those four countries are England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, okay? So those are the four countries that make up the United Kingdom. Number two, what are the nationalities of those four countries? People from England are called English. Yeah, they're actually called English, English people. People from uh, Wales, they're called Welsh, W-E-L-S-H. People from Scotland are Scottish, S-C-O-T-T-I-S-H. And then people from Northern Ireland are Irish, I-R-I-S-H. So I'm so tired, you guys. It's Saturday. Come on. <laughs> uh, now, when we... <laughs> I lost track. I was just like, wait, what am I doing? So for number three, number three is asking us, um, how do you think people dress? People from England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. What do you think their fashion sense is like when it comes to their traditional outfit? This question is answered by reading all of this. But because this is a progressive lesson, we're not going to read all of that. I'm just going to give you the answers, okay? Yay, we're almost done. Ah! Now, uh, what's the next? What's the next PowerPoint? Okay, so instead of reading all of this, I'm just going to tell you guys the highlights. The highlight of the reading passage. Please make sure you know the difference between kilt, quiet, quit, quiet. Okay, kilt, quiet, quit, quiet. A kilt is a traditional skirt. This is a kilt, a skirt worn by the men. So a kilt is a traditional skirt worn by Scottish people. Quiet means no sound, silent. Quit is to give up or not continue. Quiet is a measurement. For example, it is quite hot today. It is quite cold today. It's quite sunny today. So we use quiet to measure something. If it's too much or too, too little. For example, the next English test with teacher Sharon is going to be quite easy. So we are measuring it, okay? We're, we're actually using it to say less. It's going to be quite easy. So quite is a measurement. Another highlight from the reading passage, take note of the words costume and custom. A costume is a traditional outfit or a party outfit based on a character. For example, if you have a party, you might wear a costume, uh, what's that movie? Frozen, and you wear the, the outfit from, what's the girl, Elsa? Oh yeah, I remember Frozen. <laughs> so maybe you go to a party and then you wear the princess dress that Elsa wore. That means that's a costume, a party outfit based on a character. So while we have the word costume, we also have custom. Custom is a tradition. For example, the custom in 4 slash 1a is that everyone cleans the classroom at 340. So this is part of the classroom culture, something that is normal to the people. So please make sure you know how to spell the word and how to define the word because it will come in your next test kilt quiet quit quiet costume custom and item an item is an object non-living organism oh yeah you guys are my science class you should know so a non-living organism it does not have life it cannot reproduce so examples of items chairs tables People are not items, okay? Because people are living organisms. Items are non-living organisms. So those are the highlights of the reading passage. And now I will tell you the answers for exercise number three. Basically exercise number three, you're supposed to tell me whether the statement is true or false. But because of the style of our class, I'm just going to tell you the answers. Please write the letter 
T or F at the start of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. Up to you. Just write the letter T or the letter F. So number one, the kilt is traditionally a clothing item for Scottish men. Number one is true. T. Please write T. Up to you. Here or here. Number two, Asparin is a cloth that women wear on their shoulders. False. F. Number three, Welshmen and women wear tall black hats for special events. Number three, false. F. Number four, breeches are trousers that some men wear to festivals. True. T. Number five, there's an official costume for all Morris dancers in England. False. F. And number six, Irish women must wear tights when they do step dancing. False. F. Now for our, uh, okay, we have two more exercises. Exercise four and exercise eight. These are listening exercises. We will skip them. We will skip these exercises. So exercise number four, we are going to match the highlighted words with the descriptions here, okay? So the highlighted words are customs, fabric, items, occasions, spectacular, and performances. Okay, one more time. Customs, fabric, items, occasions, spectacular, performances. Now, we need to match these words with the definitions. Please write your answer next to the definition, okay? Number one, material for making clothes. That is fabric. So please write F-A-B-R-I-C, fabric. Number two, very exciting to see and watch. Spectacular. So please write spectacular, number two. Number three, special days or moments. Occasions, number three, occasions. Number four, normal habits in a culture. That has to be customs, customs. Remember the difference between customs and costumes. So number four is customs. C-U-S-T-O-M-S. -S. Number five, things or objects. Items, I-T-E-M-S. Which means number six, shows for an audience. Performances, please write performances, okay? We are going to skip exercise number six and seven. For exercise number five, you just have to describe what they're wearing. And then exercise six and seven is based on the track, the listening exercise. So we're gonna jump straight to exercise number eight and then we are done. For exercise number eight, we just have to complete these sentences using the answers, color, costumes, custom, dark, decorations, occasions. Number one, people wear traditional costumes. Please fill in your answer. Costumes, costumes. People wear traditional costumes. Number two, this is a very important custom in my country. This is a very important custom, C-U-S-T-O-M. So number one is costumes. Number two, custom. Number three, they wear dark blue trousers. They wear dark blue trousers, D-A-R-K, dark. Number four, the coats got lots of decorations. So we need this to be plural, lots of. That has to be plural, decorations. The coats got lots of decor gold decorations. Decorations, okay. Number five. 
for important occasions. For important occasions, the beef eaters wear the state dress uniform. Okay, so number five, for important occasions. Number six. Oh, so number six is the last one. <laughs> number six, collar. Collar. There's a big collar at the top of the coat. So one more time. Number one. Number one is costumes. Number two, custom. Number three, dark. Number four, decorations. Number five, occasions. Number six, color. All right, thank you guys. Please make sure that you did all your work and I will check your books. You will get a, you will get a score for this, okay? You will get two points for this. You will get two points because we covered page 18 and 19 and we covered page uh, 16. So you will get two points. If you do all the work, you will get two points. If you do some of the exercises, you'll get one point. If you don't do anything at all, then that will be zero. So do your best, okay? I've given you all the answers. Just write the answers and get your two points. Okay, so, oh yeah, these are the answers. Oh yeah, 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 okay. We did all this. All right, so next week, I'm so tired, I keep saying so, 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 so. Okay, so, <laughs> one more time. Next week, we will start with page 20. We will start unit three because we have to finish unit three before the midterms. Unit three is titled My Way of Life. And this will be part of our next lesson, okay? Thank you guys. Please make sure you do all the work. I will check everything between Monday and Wednesday. Have a good weekend. Bye.